Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this video, we will see how we can update the record. So we have to create here, we have to pass another method which is, we can say handle update book, right? And in handle update book, we'll have to see how we can call handle update. So for that, let's go here and in this state, we can add is update or is updated and here we can say false by default it is false is updated is false now let's use this is updated on the first button whenever we we load the things right whenever we have here get books so i can say in the get books when we are setting these details i can also say that is updated is equal to false once we click get all books is updated will be false after that now once we click on handle book right in this method also whenever we are setting the data here we can say that is update equal to false since we don't want to update now when this one will become uh, when we are going to update it so in this case what we have to do once we click on so here we have so you can see we have update button and once we are clicking on this dot get books it is get book uh, we can add one more parameter here and in this one we can say is updated equal to true let's say whenever we call this method is updated equal to true in that case basically we can show so here based on the input so I can say this dot state dot is updated if is updated is equal to true then what we have to call this dot handle update handle update book else we can call handle book so if this one is true then we can call handle update book else we will call handle add book so now this update book so let's see this dot update book is right now not registered so we have to register first here i can write this dot handle update book equal to this dot handle update book dot bind this and after that we have to write code for handle update as well so this is handle update and after that we can write code here so Yes, we can see now uh, we have these things handle update and then we have another one is handle book. So now in handle update, what we have to do is we have to pass. So once we will use the put method, if we will go here, refresh this page, we have put method. Put method accepts parameter, accepts one integer parameter along with the body. That means two things we have to pass. So to achieve that, what we have to do is we have to first pass the parameter also. And to pass the parameter, what we have to do here is, so now you can see here, we have added button and in this button on click, if this is updated is true, then it will call this method as we have add book, handle add book now in this particular method what we will do we'll write here fetch and then we can say http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash now we can go here and copy the uri then we can say api slash instead of id writing here what we will do plus i'll do this dot 
स्टेट डॉट सिंगल बुक डॉट आई डी सिंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन केस ऑफ एड बुक्स दैट विल बी एडेड हेयर सो आई डी वी हैव पास हेयर नाउ वट विल हैव टू डू नेक्स्ट इज विल हैव टू पास द मैथड मैथड विल बी पुट देन वी हैव हैडर्स सो हैडर्स विल बी आई जस्ट कॉपी इट सो हैडर्स विल बी अ टाइप ऑफ कंटेंट टाइप एंड देन वी विल हैव बॉडी सो आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस बॉडी सो सो वट एवर थिंग्स वी विल अपडेट दैट विल बी सेव्ड इन टू सिंगल बुक एंड देन द डेटा विल बी एडेड हेयर सो वंस वी विल क्लिक ऑन एड बुक्स गेट बुक्स सो गेट बुक्स विल टेक द आई डी एज वेल एज फर्स्ट नेम एज वेल एज टाइटल एंड टाइटल विल बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन द टेक्सट बुक्स एंड देन वंस वी विल क्लिक हैंडल चेंज इट विल अपडेट द हैंडल चेंज so now here we have added this one fetch method so and after the fetch method we can say result equal to result equal to so this will get updated right so uh, let's say that i have done this one after that we can simply say this dot get all books then this dot get all books let's go and check whether it is working or not refresh it click on get all books now let's say i instead of java book let me just remove s from here save it click close refresh it let's say let's check if it is working or not no so for that we can go to the inspect element and in in this inspect element i'll go on to the network tab just click here save and we can say that we are passing put request in the put request what we are doing we are passing right now book is 3 okay so all things are same and the same thing we are getting from here so let's just update it so once we have updated let's go and clean it now click on save changes so now here we can see that whenever we are updating any books it is not actually updating so what we have to make change is we can see here handle change in this handle change we can add id and then we'll write this dot state dot single book dot id whatever id we have available we can simply set it in this particular id now after that once we will try let's try to change some value suppose i want to change test to some good name so let's say i can write oracle book let's click save change you can see data is changing here similarly i can update anything okay, anything and we can click here it is changing so this way we can update any existing record in the next video we will see how we can delete the records